Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for mid-September 2021. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And because it's general, the roles can be reversed, regardless of whether you're cross-watching. All right, so general energy for Aquarius. We have happy family. Um, we just had this for Gemini. Yeah, it was Gemini. So somebody is really wanting to have happy family or this is something that is very, very important to them. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or maybe you have strong Gemini in your charts. Definitely let me know if that is the case. Um, because yeah, it was the exact same card. So let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of September, what is going on here? For the situation, we have, ooh, the Eight of Swords. Crossed by, ooh, the Ten of Swords. Aquarius, what is happening here? Recent past, the magician, near future, we have the page of pentacles. For you, we have the three of swords. For them, we have the wheel of fortune. For you, we also have the knight of wands. For them, we have the two of pentacles and the potential outcome here is the emperor, okay. Somebody is feeling very, very trapped in a situation or feeling like there is no solution, there is no way out, like this is just doomed. Um, <clears throat> it could be that somebody is wanting to bring about an ending to a particular situation, um, but feels trapped in it and is having a hard time bringing this ending, possibly because it will be painful. This, having the magician in the recent past, I feel like certain things were manifested, certain things that um, were done to, and it's almost like you know this, or you or, or this person know that it's at certain actions that you took have led to this position that this person is in now. Um, it could even be that you're both feeling this way, but for different reasons. I see you um, at the moment having a pretty difficult time through this. Um, you could be feeling heartbroken or you could be feeling like, you know, there's a lot of pain. Maybe there's a separation here or maybe you're trying to have a separation here. But I feel like you're not very um, consistent with that or you're just not very, not feeling very secure in that or very stable in that. It's almost like you're trying to take some action because of the pain that you're feeling, but it might not be um, like your your effort isn't like a hundred percent like your heart isn't a hundred percent in that ending um, for them there's a major shift that is going on here with this wheel of fortune something is definitely shifting um, even though there is still a little bit of back and forth maybe or trying to weigh out um, some options something is also just very difficult for this person that you're dealing with here I do see some steps being taken in the near future with this Page of Pentacles, like something happening here. And then for the potential outcome though, I mean, this is like a huge um, difference here with the Emperor, like things actually beginning to make sense, things being put into order. Um, somebody just really standing up here in their own power. So let's let's actually clarify and see. Um, some of you might also be dealing with an Aries. Kind of also getting that with the with the magician and the and the emperor. I know um, I think certain readers see these cards differently, but that's how I see them. So yeah, let's let's get into this. Let's see what is going on here. Aquarius. Let's see the Eight of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Alright, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, 
justice and <clears throat> and the four of wands all right so libra energy is also showing up here um yeah you know it actually feels like for some of you this is specific for some of you this could even be um concerning divorce all right if there's a marriage here okay having both justice as well as the four of wands um I feel like there may have been some action that was taken recently. Again, I feel like this came through for for Libra, um, which is showing up here as well. Um, I feel like there was action that was taken towards this or in this direction. Somebody, um, possibly that's what they were manifesting in the past. But for, for whatever reason, in the current time, there is a lot of feeling trapped, feeling like this ending is just so difficult or more difficult, more dramatic, um, more troublesome than they had thought, okay? So this could be you, this could be them, could be the both of you, as I said, but for different situations. I do feel like there is there might be a third party here, all right, for, for a lot of you. Doesn't have to be, but definitely could be. Let me, let me clarify your energy and then let this just come, kind of come together. So three of swords. And we have the king of swords and the six of cups. I feel like you're trying, you're, well, first of all, you're feeling hurt because of the connection that you have with this person. I feel like you did feel like you, you could have had this happy family with them. Um, I feel like th there's something here that some action that you may have taken, which is hurting you or, you know, whatever decision, um, you're in the process of making or decision that you have made or had made is creating pain for you because there's still this nostalgia. So again, I mean, it feels like you may have separated from this person or maybe this person um, has separated you. Whatever the case, I feel like you're trying to be, to think very, very rationally about it, like very, very logically, but it's kind of like that doesn't really work because your feelings are your feelings. You know, this bond is this bond. You can't just rationalize it away. Let me see this Knight of Wands. All right, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, yeah, see, so it could even be that you were the one, you were trying to really manifest this connection. Maybe you were trying really hard to manifest this connection in the past. Um, at the moment, I feel like you're actually trying to manifest your own sanity, your own health, could be physical health as well as um, mental health, because I feel like this, is, this situation is something that really has caused you um, a lot of pain, a lot of pain, and I feel like, I feel like it feels like it's ending right now, and it's just very, very, um, it's overwhelming, the amount of pain that, that you're feeling. And so I feel like you're really just trying to find a way to kind of just relieve yourself of this, again, to save your sanity. And I feel like you are doing it, and the message here is to really nurture yourself through this time. You know, take as much care of your health as you can. And yes, that does also mean your psychological health, you know, um, so, you know, resting, meditating, um, doing, doing things that can just heal you or that you feel are healing for you. Even just taking a break from the world, if that's what you need here. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on with them. See this Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune again, the Knight of Cups, 
and death. Okay, so again, keeping in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right? Doesn't matter if you're cross watching. Um, this person is really trying to bring about a change. There is a shift that is happening because in order for this person to move towards towards you, towards love, there is an ending that also needs to take place. So for some of you, again, this could be an ending concerning another connection. And for others of you, this is actually um, an ending between the two of you. For some of you, it could even be both. It, if there is another um, situation here, it could be that this, if there's an, if, and if there's an ending between you and this person, it could be that there needs to be an ending between you and this person in order for there to also be an ending with whatever else is going on for them. But definitely, definitely the wheel is turning here. There is definitely a major shift that is happening. Let me see that two of pentacles. King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I it just really feels like a third party situation here. Um, again, very similar to Gemini, I feel, and 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 Libra. All right, so definitely, it's like this person is juggling between two different energies here. The one is love, and the other one is that commitment. Very plain and simple. All right, this is what they are trying to really um, figure out. This is what they are trying to deal with and cope with. So I do see some steps being taken here. Um, and again, it does feel like, you know, whoever this is, whoever this is, um, whether it's you or the other person, this person wants to do the right thing. This person does want to have a happy family. And I feel like it's um, very, there's a lot of um, certainty about that. Even there's even certainty about the action that needs to be taken. I feel like what the um, issue here is that there's an ending that needs to happen that's just very, very painful. And this is why this person feels trapped. And it could be painful for a variety of reasons, all right? So then let's see the Page of Pentacles. Which is the near future. We have the... Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So somebody is taking a step here, all right? Um, and I do feel like it is the other person here that we've been talking about. Um, taking a step towards laying down some kind of a responsibility, releasing a burden, and then having to also heal from that, all right? So there is action. This Page of Pentacles is action here. It's a small step, but it is a step. It is a step towards releasing whatever it is that is causing all of this heaviness. And I actually feel like it could be um, releasing this Ten of Swords, like the idea of how painful it can be, because with the Four of Swords, this is healing, this is recovering. So I feel like that step forward is actually seeing the truth here that, you know, there is recovery after this. Like, even if this is going to be difficult, there is recovery. Let's see the Emperor. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Ace of Cups. So this is a lot of movement here. Um, a lot of movement. This could even be literal moving, like 
moving locations for some of you, which would involve love, right? Moving straight towards love here with the Ace of Cups. Um, yeah, this is definitely somebody really standing their ground, getting things under control, and kind of like leading the way is what I'm getting. Leading the way, leading the way towards love here. And this is happening quickly as well, all right, with the Knight of Wands and the, and the Chariot here. It, when, it, when it begins to happen, it's like, it's going to just like, kind of like, it's going to be like a snowball effect. Like the ball is just going to start rolling and then that's it. So yeah, I feel like right now, um, things are feeling very, very difficult. Um, there's still a little bit of way to go here. Like I said, it feels like there's like a small step being taken, which is realizing that there is recovering after this Ten of Swords, whatever that is. But then I feel like you, you as well, you're going to be standing in this Emperor's energy because you are also recovering from this heartbreak. And then whatever else needs to happen here is happening. There is really quick movement towards this love. Alright, Aquarius, so let's see. Final message for you if this resonated. And we have discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. So yeah, I really feel like, you know, um, that this is concerning your person here, discovering that truth, that things do not have to be so difficult. Some endings are meant to happen. Alright, and actually this is true for you as well. Alright, um, knowing that an ending sometimes needs to happen in order for love to then um, be able to manifest. Alright Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.